five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome, everybody. What's going on? This, this is episode 150. 150. Woo! If you're listening to us on SoundCloud, you can watch us on YouTube or Facebook. If you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, you can listen to us on SoundCloud. That's right. And I, Facebook. I want to explain that if you watch the videos, they come out on the Fridays, and then you can listen to the audio versions of this show on SoundCloud on Sundays or Mondays. So you can listen to the show early. four or five days early before they're posted on YouTube on SoundCloud. Oh. If you want to hear our voices, you could go there. But this is episode 150. 150. So we have Congratulations. So we have over 150. Oh, we're not supposed to talk to. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know coronavirus. Where? <laughs> Where? So, so, oh my, don't be Where? that big people. Where? We should wear masks. Where? I had a better chance at the pizza place <laughs> having flies fly into my mouth. Oh, then you know, getting again, coronavirus. Nothing to do with this answer. You know, okay. but you know, you know, you know. We're still fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we say we say hello to Mama Corps and uh, Dave. Yeah. We, we hear we guys watching and laughing. So yeah, still have no, a good time. Still no work for some reason, <clears throat> even though I'm healthy. But yeah. you know, he's in vacation you know, right now. Habitation like a. Bear or, uh, uh, bear, uh, it shows bear. how educated these older people are. So, like, at my workplace, this was the best. What happened over there? So, they called in people seniority system, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, the people who work there longest, they're like, we're going to call them first to work. So, guess what? They're all... 60 years old. Oh, well, that's very bad. High risk, high risk for yeah. catching coronavirus. Not tested for coronavirus. Uh -oh. And they called them in, forcing them to work before the young, healthy people come in. Yeah, that's stupid. It blew my, my mind. mind. Yeah. These 50 and 60 year olds, they were making them work full time during this. They gonna While they collect. They while they can collect retirement check, $600, yeah. CERB, $2,000, and unemployment, $2,000. So they no, were... you can have both. Yes, you can. Employment and CERB is... You could get two... both. They're two separate accounts. The CERB is under the CRA, which is our version of the IRS. You collect it through that website. Unemployment goes through Canada website, which is Government of Canada website, where you apply for unemployment insurance. There are two separate websites. Yeah, you can but get both you at the same time. But they're gonna say after you. No. Do, if so, you. Uh, hey, did you reporting the cover? Because they always asking, did you get any other money coming? So you said yes. And what you're gonna say? You grabbed the cover? Yeah, you have to say that. If you don't say that, they're gonna fucking destroy you later. Because they asked the question. I know for sure on employment office. Did you get any other money? Yeah. And you say yes. You have to say yes. And you yeah. say COVID, COVID shit. If you say it's good. If you don't say, uh, so they're going to say, oh, we're going to pay you. But I tell you, that's no working like that. I hear the story already that you can I have an employment or, or COVID. No, you can have I both. heard you could get, I've seen people get both. Yeah, no you can get it. No problem. But then yeah. they're going to hunt you later and they want the money back. That's it. What they said. I hear the story already. I don't know if you have, say, you own a house, and your mortgage is like twelve hundred dollars. Plus, you have to pay property tax, water bill, and shit because you're home for four months. You have to pay all those bills. Uh, you yeah. need four thousand dollars a month to pay all that. Mm, you you f fucking. They don't want you to go to work. They want you to sit. The government yeah, yeah, was like this. I know. I know. Before we don't then. want your workplace to fire you, and we don't want you to look for a new job. We want you to just fucking hang out at home. Yeah. So the only way you're going to get people to hang out at home is yeah. to give them enough money to fucking live at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Two but grand a month is not enough money to live at home. For one person. 
That's if, still not enough. Yeah, for if you one have person. like four person living in the house, everybody get the money. They can chip it out for the house. Yeah, but like, say you're a couple, like you're a married couple. Your husband gets unemployment and serve, yeah. and then you get unemployment and serve. So like, now yeah, then yeah, you have eight thousand dollars of income I coming know into for your sure house. Don't know this, then you can get I'm both. just saying. But I say if they, if they, something misunderstanding, and they take the both, they have to pay back. They said. Okay, there's a loophole. No, if okay. you're a married couple, yeah. one collects unemployment, the other one collects SERP. Yeah, that can happen. And then you could do that. Yeah, 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 that's true. But only one. You can't have both on one guy and yeah. both on one guy. Then you have your one son collect EI, and then you have another daughter yeah, but collect they, uh, yeah, unemployment. But they're but they going to say, uh, I don't want to give you money, mama. You That's know what I mean? And you know what I mean? That's... Yeah, but then, like, say there's, like, four or five people in the household, they can all get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's ten grand a month coming in. Yeah, and everyone's that's... getting two grand. Yeah, but before they was working, let's say, even a $100,000 or $150,000 job, so he get a piece. Yeah, and then, you, ten... and then you go down to, like, 25 grand a year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unemployment. So, yeah. And this house probably mortgage is ridiculous, too. Yeah. Because you, of course, you have to buy a boat, three cars, fucking canoings yeah, because, and everything and now whoops how are i gonna pay for that because the government showed that they could ruin people's lives in the snap of fingers and ruin no millions but, of people's but lives they're doing for... something different they said you don't have to pay full mortgage you know for months whatever just whatever percentage i don't know how this specific is going but in states i know canada is okay with this shit but I hear states people suicide because can pay the houses. People are suiciding everywhere, like not in Canada. The, That's yeah, what I'm saying. No, because at one point during this pandemic, the suicide and overdose deaths were higher than the coronavirus deaths in British Columbia. Oh, because they did you get know that drugs for free over there? Did you know that <laughs> the drugs over for free? You can yeah, so you can you can fucking them. yell cocaine. On the sidewalk, and in Vancouver, someone's like, okay, fuck, them. there you go. Yeah, right. And then you sniff it, it's fentanyl, and then you die. That's Vancouver. Oh, no, that's terrible. That's what happened in Vancouver. The fet- they had, I, I didn't see Vancouver They before. had a fentanyl, they had a fentanyl fucking pandemic, <laughs> like, two years ago. Oh, where fuck. they found 150 people dead on sidewalks across the whole fucking city over there. Because they were that sniffing so- suspicion. They were sniffing so much blow- Fuck it, it was like Christmas. And there was like dead bodies everywhere. It was crazy. And the same thing was happening again in April in BC because of this pandemic. Because yeah. they shut down all the fucking wellness centers and recovery centers. So all these drug addicts couldn't go anywhere to get themselves better. So they just fucking OD'd on the street. I don't know what with these drugs. I ne- The drugs never work on me. Well, I want to give you an example. No, no, British no, Columbia. I mean, no, but like, no. what is the purpose people get these drugs? Well, like, I'll explain it later on. Because, okay. But, professional drug uh, sniffer. So it's no. Okay. <laughs> so like, for, so for example, like British Columbia has the lowest uh, minimum Which, wage in Canada. Allegedly. No, it's facts. They have the lowest fucking minimum wage. So, so how much is so the there? highest is Alberta. Minimum oh. wage is fifteen dollars an hour there. That's no Minimum. Thing. You fucking work in a gas station, fucking toilet cleaner, fucking grocery store, anywhere. Minimum fifteen dollars an Very hour. Very good. British Columbia, average house probably costs fucking five hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars over there. Yes. Their minimum wage is ten dollars and seventy five cents. It's the lowest out of all of Canada. Yeah. So imagine this. You're a young adult. You're like, I. But that's the the lowest lowest thing. But if you finish school or something, you want to work. No, you go to I had a friend who finished school. Yeah. High school to pl- like not high school. He had high school, but college diploma. Okay. Moved to BC. Fucking best job he could find was a ski resort. And the most they were willing to pay him was twelve dollars an hour, wow. and he was originally from Ontario, where minimum wage is fourteen dollars an hour. Oh, nice. so what kind of college? Huh? He tourism. He went oh, for tourism. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Full, full college degree, everything, trained. Yeah. 
moved out west to paradise over Go there. Away. Yeah. You know, the West Coast Paradise. Yes. Where a grizzly bear could shit on your head at oh any moment. Paradise. Yeah. You're going to the garbage can and you see grizzly. Oh, fuck. Go where, on. Where the hottest day in the summertime is only 20 degrees. Paradise. And there's snow all year round. Paradise. Yeah, that's where... If I, you like that, you're making like snowmans. You yeah, know. if you like making snowmans, snowmans you paradise. would move out west. Yeah, that's beautiful. Like, today I make snowmen. Tomorrow makes snowman. <laughs> then one week is like 20 degrees. Everything melting. And you start all over again. The fucking week. shit doesn't melt when it's 20 degrees. You can, you fucking. What do you mean? You're talking Fahrenheit or Celsius? Celsius. No, Celsius, you can melt 20 degrees. Yeah, but barely. Like, it's like. Oh, no, everything's swimming. Like, uh, well, in Calgary, it's flooding right now. It's Right now, it's 20 degrees in this room. It's melting. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you made a snowman, it would last all day in this room. If you had snow. Yeah, all day. But next day, everything is melt. But it's like... Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's like... So... Like... There's kids... Asian kids... Going with... Stu- well, going with student visas to Vancouver. What? And then they get a... They get a student loan. Yes. Like a hundred grand. Hundred grand? Yeah. I you wouldn't... have to have that much money to go to school. Though. Yeah, I would buy a brand new Escalade and try... No, they, do the they put a down payment on a house. House? Yeah, they put a down payment on a house for 500 grand. Yeah. Okay. And then one year later, that house is worth $1.2 million and they sell it. And then the kid makes $750,000 that year. Who buys year. this house? Fuck, is so many people want houses but in Vancouver. Na- I know, but it's now... It's the most beautiful place in Canada. I know, but now it's... Worth it. No, it trust me. They're still making money over there. The whole, it's it's crazy over there. Like, oh, it's crazy. Like if you were like a normal person living there, I would like it makes sense that these people just like I'm just gonna sniff drugs on the sidewalk because it's so fucked up over there. Why why killing yourself? Why don't figure out something better for yourself? The fucking cops just why you cops are be... going for wellness checks and they shoot the indigenous woman in her house for no reason. They just wanted to do a wellness, like someone called, can you do a wellness check on this woman? Like, you never hear that in Ontario. Like, that's how crazy it is in British Columbia. You never hear on Ontario news that people are calling to do wellness checks on people in Ontario. BC, it's so fucked up over there that people have to call cops to do wellness checks on people. And then when the woman opens the door, the cop fucking shoots her. But it's always <laughs> a different story from the metal. But I don't have two sides, yeah? So, like, tell you right now, we don't know what happened. Probably we she, know what happened. She, they opened the door, she no one opened it, they forced the door open. No. And what they see, fucking... And then on top of that, uh, in New... General uh, uh, Reeves no, with fucking knives, no. and then they say, Poof. You're wrong, it's a woman, not a man. What the fuck is different? Are you gonna be stopped? The woman weighs 110 pounds. Yeah, but she's You're a male police officer yeah, but she wearing s- a bulletproof fucking well, vest. What about she have a gun? We didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, fucking let her shoot you no, in the vest. No, in the head, you're, not you're gonna dead. Die. No, you don't take chances. I'm telling you. No. And if then you're on top of danger, that, you should no. shoot everybody And then on top want. of that, no, you're no. not allowed to shoot anyone you want. In what, your you self-defense... There's no self defense in Canada. Doesn't fucking you. exist. I show you it is. It doesn't exist. No, it's self defense. You can't. You cop can shoot no. everybody in self defense. No, they can. In yes, they do. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, continue. Well, do you not been watching the news for the past month? Are you so fucking like in the hole, like an ostrich, fucking buried in the sand? I like, talking about facts, and you, you don't know facts. I said you is. don't know. I nothing. show you in Article Thirty First and whatever was something. They literally killed another indigenous person in British Columbia for the same bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Or, you sorry, don't know New what Brunswick. happened there. New Brunswick, same bullshit. Yeah, like no, there's no reason the cop has a fucking stick, taser, handcuffs. Yeah, you're he right. has so why much he, equipment. Yeah, why he no the, taser? Her? He doesn't need a fucking gun. Listen, only, only, <laughs> only I see from for past uh, for his per, uh, view, only one thing is if you should pull the gun, run away. No fucking thinking. Who first? So cop have to shoot her. So no, so if she I, pulls out a gun. If you're a smart cop, no, you fucking just walk out of the house instantly. You crazy fucking bitch! Pull the gun. No, and you like poof. And that's it, that's, you have three seconds to react for this. And you can't even pull the taser, you can. 
That's what I said. In this situation, it was some kind of fucking, we don't know what happened. But, we, don't, we do know what happened. But you SIU, just don't watch the listen, fucking no, news. No. They're they, they calling SIU, Special Investigation Unit, with this. If the doesn't, cops involved with shooting, they take over. So they going to tell us yeah, probably. Yeah, probably we, does not exist in Canada. You're literally making up a police what? force. They have always take care of cops. Okay, shooting. ask Google what the SIU unit's called mm -hmm. in Canada. Yeah, okay. That's called cool, SIU. Oh, ask it. Okay, hey Google. I don't know. That's what I told you. Special unit investigation. Everything what is involved cops. Hey Google, what does SIU stand for in Canada Police? Special Investigations Unit. According to Wikipedia, the Special Investigations Unit is the civilian oversight agency responsible for investigating circumstances involving police that have resulted in a death, serious injury, or allegations of sexual assault of a civilian in Ontario, Canada. Okay. So this guy is called, would every time cops shoot somebody, yeah. or rape, or something, they... they the cops raping you, that's a big problem. No, but that's what they... That's a special above the cops, mm -hmm. so they checking everything, make sure there's no corruption or something. They always call this stuff, and make sure the cops is not guilty and guilty. So don't say nothing because I know everything about this. Sure. So yeah, that's it. Next one. But uh, so that's what I say now because this but guy I'm showed, telling you that you guy have to was have it wrong. No, no, I Period. know. I know, we, I know. Literally, but, Justin Trudeau said on fucking TV in front of the whole country about, about that cop that killed that woman. For no fucking reason in her house doing a wellness check. That's what I'm saying. You're talking out of your fucking ass because okay, you don't okay. know that story. Okay, so I don't know that story, but I see. Even though he's been talking about it for fucking three weeks already on oh, TV. Oh, okay, so maybe that's what happened something. Yeah, you're like we a fucking know. ostrich in the sand. You don't even, like, you're not paying attention maybe to what's going on. Maybe the guy was on. raping her and nobody know. You never know. And then who fucking I'm telling her. you she's dead now because a police officer was, was supposed to check on her. I know, I know. What have, you know, you know, you have people. People are crazy. We should weeding up this fucking craziness, people, from... Why would an officer be afraid of, a, like, you know what I mean? Of, like, a 110-pound woman. Like, indigenous woman. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I, I that makes no sense. I know, but uh, it doesn't. The guy has a no, taser, no. nightstick, I, I know. bulletproof vest. No, but you're thinking just from one view. I'm thinking from his point of view. No, you're thinking wrong. You're thinking just one point of view of him. What happened if this is two hundred different scenarios can be? He abused her before. He's scared she's gonna say something. He shoot her in self defense, supposed to, because maybe yeah. he's gonna be. Maybe you're they, agreeing with me right now. Yeah. You're literally something saying was fishy. You're saying the cops wrong. You're no, I said saying something that. was fishy over yeah, there. Yeah, you're we're saying the same thing. Exactly. That yeah. I agree with you. Okay. But we don't know what But do, like suicide rates are going up too, yeah, like you were saying. Yeah, yeah. So there's this guy But in state. There's a guy here. named Sushan Singh. Rajput. I was thinking his name was Suicide Joe. No, his <laughs> name is Sushant Sain Rajput. How you? How? What his name is? Sushant Sain Rajput. Okay, that's not the English name. No, <laughs> he is from Mumbai, India. What? The... He was an Indian actor, huge actor. Oh yeah. He was found thing. dead in Mumbai in his home on Sunday. This Sunday? Which is today. Today. Yeah. Was, oh shit, it's not today, it's Friday today, but okay. No, I just explained to the people, you get the audio version on the Sunday, then the video comes out on the Friday. Oh my god. Do, you're not listening I to just our own wanna, show! I just don't want to blow out a cover, you, but now it's obvious that we lie. What cover? It's not Friday today, it's Sunday. Yeah, it's pre-recorded, this is not live. Because uh, uh, how you posted is going jumping live. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> Thank allowed, you. You're allowed to do that. I know. We lie. Because we're professionals. I know. So you what know. happened to Mumbai guy? Yeah. So the Mumbai police said he took his own life. This is another famous actor who committed suicide. Well, no job because COVID-19? No. So like the first one was that Hana Shakira, Shikara, whatever her name was. From Japan, the 22-year-old who yeah, was yeah. on the Netflix show Terrace yes, House. Yes, 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 yes. She committed suicide. She was an actress, big actress, professional wrestler mm -hmm. from Japan. Huge. Cyberbullying. 
So I believe the same thing happened to Mr. Uh, Sunshan Sain Rajput. I think the same thing was happening with him. I think maybe he was being cyberbullied. Can you ask the Google who was saying? Yeah, sure. Hey, Google. Yeah. Hey, Google. Who is Sunshine Sign Rajput? Sushant Singh Rajput. According to some information I found on Wikipedia. Oh, she can't even read it? No, but... The... That's the guy, though. Yeah. Very yeah. young guy. Yeah, he's 34 years old. Actor. Big actor from Mumbai, India. Committed suicide today. And they don't know why. Yeah, that's the guy. Uh, come on. Uh, people have Google. They could just Google him, but whatever. I, I don't know which movie he played, but... Uh... He made his debut in a Hindi cinema in 2013... Thirteen, called Kai Pao Che. That I'm was checking his, for like English movies. Or that something. was no. He was uh, not in a fucking English movie. Did he suicide? Yeah, he killed himself. What the fuck? In the That's what I'm saying. Thing? We have this big pandemic of suicide now. It looks like with people yeah. around the world because of this fucking bullshit. Uh-huh. Fucking fucking bird flu 2.0 everywhere people are freaking out 2. 0. yeah it's exactly the bird flu i found out that this virus is the bird flu exactly the same it's bird flu it's not sars it's bird flu it literally came from an animal because people were eating fucked up animals and then when people and the only way you could catch it is if people sneeze or spit on you what this thing was uh, what we were on um, that tv we watched no no i know i know what was the the name of this i'm a girl to think what is this? Angolan. They they removed them from the medicine, natural medicine, because people was eating them for medicine. They were on. They were one of the top five animals in the world that were the most illegal animals to poach in the world. Yeah, I know, but and they were so healthy. They said, but now no. they removed them. The China removed today. I will see it. They was poaching on my phone. Fucking those anteaters were up there, not to kill, with rhinos and elephants, and tigers. On the fucking, that's how fucking... And everybody the, killed tigers. People right around the world yeah, were like, know, don't know. eat these fuckers. And then they're like, but we want to make stew. No, they said this was some kind of... Have, uh, if you eat these animals, you became like care of cancer or something. They have some kind of shit. So they remove now. Yeah, they you said, eat it, you become cancer. That's what fucking happened. Fuck. No, they clearly... It's not healthy. There's a reason why they that's a banned animal on the list. There's okay, a... well, wait. Maybe she's going to find it, because it was today. Uh... With what? They banned pangolins now? No, uh, just ask. Like, Hey, Google! What are they doing about pangolins? These came back from a search. Alright, let's see what is searched up. What's the story? What's the story about pangolins, the little anteaters that are killing everybody with the fucking virus? Do 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 The guy can't even fucking read out loud! Hey, hey, hey Google! <laughs> Did China re- remove pangolins from healthy food? I found this on the web. It was never healthy food. <laughs> Yeah, March 33 was going wrong to stairs. Wow, what? from March? <laughs> Holy shit. I know. Just... Never prepared. Yeah, I forgot. But, uh, yeah. But thank God it's now not healthy. Don't they were it. never healthy. Okay. But I'm saying this actor, huge Mumbai actor, died. How old he was? 30? 34 years oh, old. Oh, my God. He was also in a uh, TV series called... Pavitar Rishnut, which I think the translation is Scared Ties. Yeah. From 2009 to 2014 on a huge, like, show in India. Because but still, in, you, India no had... any idea why he did it? No. If I had to take a guess, cyberbullying. The same thing with... What the, the fucking... Why are they looking at the fucking phones? Shut the phone and don't listen, nobody. 
Well, this is why Donald Trump is trying to... Sunday, this is one Sunday. reason why Donald Trump is trying to shut down Twitter is because there's just so much hate speech going on. Yeah, but and, he uses Twitter. And his, quote, fake news, that he is just... He wants them... He, like, he wants people to have responsibility for tweeting stuff. You know what I mean? And, it, it, the, like, the same thing... Like, Reddit is basically like a secret Twitter where they do the exact same fucking garbage on Reddit. Reddit's like even worse. Fucking like the dark asshole of the world in there. With like fucking the website? hate speech and hunting people. Okay, okay. But it's a crazy rest in peace. Uh, Shushan Sain Rajput. Peace in love. And uh, people should not be committing suicide. You should be enjoying life. And it's, exactly. And in this world, for... These famous young people are just taking their lives, and it's just sad. Yeah. And then in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, they burnt down a Wendy's. Hmm. Do you know why they burnt down a Wendy's in Atlanta, Georgia? They ran on a tray for drinks. No. <laughs> this is what happened in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead, shoot me. A white officer mm-hmm. <laughs> pulled over a black man named Rashard Brooks. Okay. Pulled him over thinking he was drunk while driving. Okay. So in this Wendy's parking lot, mm-hmm. this white officer is doing a sobriety test, like trying to figure out if this guy's drunk or not. Yeah, he does his job. Okay. So the officer find like basically handcuff tries to handcuff them mm-hmm. and arrest them for DUI so he's drunk so he's drunk okay okay so mr uh Rayshard Brooks Rayshard Brooks yeah okay yeah. decides i'm going to run <laughs> why okay what do you think they're not going to shoot you exactly fuck <laughs> yo the the black man yeah Decides, I'm going to run from all these white police right now. Yeah, exactly. On top of that, I have a drug I'm going to take oh. I'm gonna take the cop's taser with me. Oh, fuck. That's it. You're dead. And this is all on video. You mm. can watch it. The cop had a GoPro on him. I mean, like uh, so you his could, camera. Yeah, so know. they released the GoPro. They call, they call body cameras. So cops. they released yeah. the body camera yeah. of the whole situation. So the guy was being perfectly... Perfect with the cop. Like, blow in this, what's your name, what's your address, whatever. Like, the normal yeah. bullshit yeah. test, whatever they do. Uh, then he, this guy, Richard Brooks, decided, I'm going to run away from the cop and take his taser with me. Right when he starts running from the cop, the cop shoots him dead in the Wendy's parking lot. Okay, you know what? If so much shit happened. This ha- why he shooting him in the shoot him in the back. While yeah, he was why running. no shooting in the legs? Why not just let him run for five minutes, get tired, and then pick him no, up down da- pick him up he down the road. Pick him up down the road. Then the guy gets charged with murder after. Yeah, that's, but uh, that's that what be- you release. Your weapon, you didn't no, 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 he you was stole it, but you have to stop now him. So, but I will be shoot him in the legs or something. Fucking, why I always have to kill him right away? Yeah. So because of this Maybe he incident that happened, so because of this, you can in- shoot him in between cars and legs. I think. Uh, it looked like there was like no fucking cars in this Wendy's parking lot. Well, anyway, so he dead. Yeah, Richard Brooks is dead. So then the white officer Wendy- shot him to death at a Wendy's parking lot. Okay. So what happened was, now, you know, because the movement's happening, Black Lives Matter, people are... What this happened is when the shit... Friday. People, people were so fucking pissed that there was a march of probably, like, thousands of people on the highway in Atlanta, Georgia, which is, like, one of the biggest cities in the United States. You know what? They Wait shut a second, down I know, the there's something popping to my head. Okay. They should change the rules. Only if your cop is in the danger, and you know, like somebody try to kill you, then yeah. you can use the gun, killing somebody. But you can't shoot the guy running away. Yeah. You have to. 
fucking chase him. Just chase him. Fucking chase him. If he win, he win. Yeah. If you if you're not chasing, so stop training. Fucking stop training. So make sure you're chasing and chase him. Oh, this this situation he updated with no shit. Yeah, but if the cop uh, the cop could have just let him run and he would get tired in five minutes. Fucking the guy. Yeah, but all his information. The yeah, and has his car in the Wendy's parking oh, lot. Oh, <laughs> why let him run? Yeah, let you him... already have his address oh, and everything. Now that's that's why I... I say why the people get pissed. <laughs> Fuck. So they fucking shut people shut down the fucking highway in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been to Atlanta, Georgia. And that is a fucking crazy big city. Yeah, I was in Atlanta, uh, Georgia. It was uh, uh, Olympics over there before. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big ass city. They shut down the major highway over there. Yeah. Which is like insane. They marched to the Wendy's and they lit... Tortured. And they lit the Wendy's on fire and burned it down. In as uh, as in protest the, yeah, in the, in the for name this, of this white cop killing uh, Richard Richard Brooks. Brooks, yeah. So now the police officer has been fired. Of course. The, Tomorrow we're gonna be go back to the jail and he gonna. No. Be... So what happened is that the officer is just fired. He's no longer a cop. His partner, who witnessed it, uh, is now uh off it. Like he works in the office now. Yeah, He's not the, allowed to be on duty. road yeah, duty yeah, yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. And the I believe the head of ch- uh, of police in Atlanta, chief? Georgia, yeah. the chick, she stepped down. Chief. Yeah, she stepped down. Like she's like, okay, I can't even. I don't even know what's right or wrong anymore. She fucking stepped down. Okay. And uh, yeah, people. Because this cop killed uh, Richard Brooks on Friday, they burned down Wendy's, mm. where the cop killed him. They lit it on fire. Oh, wow. Yeah. When, is it when they said, uh, you know, people, they say that these protesters are peaceful. I just want to give an example of protesters not peaceful. In- but, you know, there was mad for this situation. And Wendy's, were, exactly what happened. Wendy's had nothing I to know. do with this. That's what I'm saying. That was a mistake by cop pull him over by Wendy. Yeah. You should pull him over by uh, Ikea. Now, it's burning better now it's woody. during a pandemic, a hundred people lost their jobs because these people burnt down the Wendy's. Was hundred people working with Wendy's? Yeah, you average fast food place definitely has like a hundred and fifty to a hundred employees for sure. Mm. You know how big Atlanta, Georgia is? You know how many people live there? It's a fucking huge it's probably one of the top five most biggest cities in America over there. It's crazy. They film movies. Yeah. Everything. Porsche has like a whole fucking racetrack in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really like, nice, yeah. it's crazy over there. Yeah. Crazy. Beautiful city, though. Beautiful I lo- city. Yeah, I loved it. When I loved it. I, I loved it when we went to the basement strip club over there and we were watching the 60 year old grandmas strip naked and watching guys shoot $1 bills into their thongs. It was amazing to see. You're just ruining I'm, I'm beginning the game. <laughs> Old woman. No, because there's, st- there's like a big hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. It was called like the Motor Inn. And you had to walk around the hotel. And there was a giant staircase that went like behind the building. And then there's like a really fancy fine dining restaurant. Yeah. And and then we're like, this is not the strip club. And the lady's like, no, you have to go down more. Even more to the strip club. And then it was called like uh, Ch- Chavot or Chateau Club. Strip club was ten bucks. They had a uh, duct tape. They they put cushion, like cheap cushion, and they put duct tape all around the bar so your arms wouldn't hurt from putting it on hard wood. So they made like homemade cushion, and then the strippers would pick a song on the jukebox. They put three their own three dollars in the jukebox to put a song on, and then they would just dance in the middle, fucking bouncing around, and then people were playing basketball. Into their panties with one dollar bills. Uh-huh. And then we're like, we need to go to Magic City. And then I have to go pee. And then we went to Magic City, and that was the best sh- strip club ever. Yeah, I have to go pee. Where are you going pee? To the washroom. <laughs> quick, quick. You what? talk about something, Seth. And I'll be back. Five Holy. Just pee on the show. You know how many views we get? <laughs> Just pee on the floor. But yeah. 
The protesters were in Atlanta, Georgia. They heard this story about uh, Richard Brooks being shot to death by a police officer in a Wendy's parking lot. And people decided the good solution was to march to that Wendy's and burn it down. And uh, I don't think that was a good solution to the situation at all. Uh, we, you, like, protesters for this movement were already getting a bad rap being tied in with rioters. And now they fucking basically rioted again. And then, uh, Dave Chappelle came out with a new special. Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I tried to show it, show it to you last night, but you were too retarded to fucking pay attention. Oh, I know, I tired you. No. I, I, eventually I'm very tired lately, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, just lazy. But, uh... 51. So, uh... Dave Chappelle has a new special called... I was climbing Mon uh, fucking Kilimanjaro yesterday. Yeah. You're fucking walking 30 steps up a hill. Fucking the 30 steps for after uh. 51 is like 100 steps. Sure. I know exercise nothing now. Mm -hmm. I'm no going nowhere. What are you thinking? I'm running away fucking going in you know, a fucking gazelle. Yeah, we only walked for an hour and a half. Hour and a half? Yeah, and then you end up sleeping for fucking seven hours after. <laughs> it was amazing. Then my brain shut down. But Dave Chappelle's a new special. Okay. Eight, it's called 8 minutes and 46 seconds. He called it that because that's how long the video was of George Floyd getting choked to death by oh, the cop. That's so Dave Chappelle gives his point of view and his take on uh, black America protesting on the situation. Okay, what did he say? Okay, he, well, he was saying this is... He, so basically Don Lemon on his show... Don Lemon? Yeah, you don't know who Don Lemon is? I know Georgina Orange. <laughs> Okay. I know, I just... I don't know. That's his real name. I know, but that's... What Don I mean. Lemon. Yeah, yeah. Like, one of the biggest guys on CNN. Don Lemon. And he was calling out on celebrities. Yeah, usually they should hire everybody like a fruity last name in CNN. Yeah, George Apple. Uh, <laughs> Philip Georgina Pe Orange. Philip Pear. Yeah, exactly. Good. And you have to at least have 50 fucking... Michael Papaya. Uh, Johns of Grapes or Watermelon or something like yeah. that. You need fruits uh, related yeah. to the color of the people. Yeah, that's racist. <laughs> no. This is, that's... this is why people are protesting. Right away you go into, let's hire black guys named Grapes and Watermelon. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. But uh, this guy's name is Don Lemon. <laughs> I can say nothing oh, about black people. There, I say, you have to hire people with last name yeah. related to color. I didn't say you have to be black. Maybe my friend, the black guy, the yeah. uh, his name what was White. Yeah, last name. Yeah, his last name. That was, was white. so 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 funny. You too. Yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah, but the, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. If you hire Grapes, that eventually he he will be not black. He will be just his this name, Grapes. Uh huh. But, uh, I say fruits, <laughs> not vegetables. Okay, so Don Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fucking shoot this. Wanted man. black celebrities to talk about the topic on platforms, and he called out Dave Chappelle to talk about it. Oh. So Dave Chappelle talked about it. All right. So what did he say? Dave Chappelle said, "This is the streets talking. Okay. No celebrity can even help in this situation." It's so bad that just people are tired and they're protesting, okay? He, Dave Chappelle explains a story how a police officer pulled him over. That thing again? With his friend? No. That's a made-up story. This oh. is a real fucking oh, okay, story. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> no, so I have Dave, to let you go. Oh. So Dave Chappelle <laughs> Thank you for explained okay. that he got pulled over by an officer that was in like it was the city's called Beaver Creek, Ohio or something. Beaver Creek, Ohio. Ohio. And the police officer pulled him over, gave him a warning, and let him go. Yeah. That same police officer later on that night kills a black man for because he was he was he legally had a gun. In his car. But oh. he didn't even touch the gun. Like, what happened was, Oopsie. the cop was like, do you have a firearm in your car? Yes. Black guy's like, yes, I do. I'm going to show you my paperwork. So when he went to grab the paperwork, the cop had a panic attack and shot him to death in the car. And the same cop pulled over Dave Chappelle the same night. 
who shoot the guy? You shoot the guy. You're gonna have a double panic attack. Two black people, uh, uh, one after another? Oh my god. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> Dave Chappelle was explaining that this is just a thing that's happening right now, and that this, it's millions of people with the same anger, and that celebrities can't help with the situation. Can't help? No, they can't help. Yeah. Like, them talking about it, like, on the s- screens, it's like, that's not gonna help the movement. They it needs people to actually physically take action. Yes. Right. So, and then Don Lemon agreed with him, and then also Dave Chappelle said Candace Owens pussy. Stinks. What kind of Don Lemon is? Don Lemon. Wait, you don't know Don Lemon? Come on, he's like one of the biggest fucking people on American television. But he's black. Yeah. Oh, I don't know him. <laughs> fucking monster. They talk about him on Howard Stern fucking every week. They say his name. Hey Google. I'm pretty sure high pitch Eric wants to fuck him. <laughs> Hey Google. Here are some results. Hey Google. Who is Don Lemon? Hmm. One more time. Oh, it's black. <laughs> yeah. The screen went black right when we said who's Don Lemon. <laughs> hey. Hey Google. Holy shit. Hey Google. Who is Don Lemon? According to Wikipedia, Don Lemon is an American television journalist. Oh yeah, I know him. On CNN he working. I just said that. Yeah, fucking but they're, 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 that's, You know what? He is very fucking shit disturber. He, every time he cry about something. He never say something... Or maybe... What did he said, cry no, about? No, he always go and decide what the, the, he make the story. Okay. I watch him always on YouTube. Sure. And then he fucking cry how bad everything is. He never say nothing good about nothing yet. Okay. Always tell the story right away. Fucking crying how bad is and this and this. Always finish negative. Uh huh. So negative. If you say right. president say something, he gonna fucking pun bashing him to the fucking floor. Mm-hmm. He no giving even a one fucking good something to him. Then every story always start and he pushing to the people. Let's say he ask you question and say, what are you thinking uh, about this black movement? There's people should go out with celebrities. And he, you see, he pushing something. So you have to answer this and run away. And say, yeah, you're right. You know, they should do nothing. You should do action people, blah, blah. That, that's I find out he is good, but sometimes it's. Too much fucking sour. That's why he's a lemon. Because it's sour. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That's... You know, this... His last name is not coincident. Okay. He is sour man. Like, lemon sour. Mm-hmm. Like, he start talking. That's like pouring fucking lemon on me. On my wounds. On and your, say, on I... Your what? On my wounds. <laughs> <laughs> on your wounds? Yeah. And then it's like, ah, oh, help me. And he say, you want sour? And yeah. I'm like, no, and, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But the Dave Chip, like he called out Dave Chappelle, and Dave yeah, Chappelle yeah, yeah. answered. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Dave Ch- Dave Chappelle was talking about Don Lemon, talked about Candace Owens, which that chick's like on another fucking planet. Who is this chick? Candace Owens. Yeah. Is a crazy White black chick? woman. A black woman. She's crazy. She's hot. But crazy. She's what? hot crazy. Yeah, but what? why she's crazy? First of all, she was on Joe Rogan trying to defend that the earth is flat. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> I have to see this chick. Okay, but first I, of all. I, maybe I know this chick. Yeah. Like, this chick is wild. Like, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Who is Candace Owens? According to Wikipedia... Candace Amber Owens Farmer is an American conservative commentator and political activist. So she's a crazy... She's got a crazy point of view on uh, on certain things. Like, you listen to her and you're like, does this chick even read a book and read something? Or does she just pull stuff out of her asshole when she fucking gives information? It's like... It's like, it's wild. She's wild. Okay. Did you you see who she is yet, or what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I see, but just, I try, 
figure out that watch her. Uh, but she's been on Joe Rogan. She's been like, she's like. She's saying the Earth is flat. Yeah, she's trying to argue Earth is flat. Fucking. Oh my God! Just shoot this. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I don't know. She's like saying space is fake. Fuck is a bullshit. Space is fake. Allegedly, I don't know. I know what it's. Yeah, but she's she was trying. Basically, she was try. She made a show trying to defend the cop that killed George Floyd. That's what happened. What? And, uh... What the show was about. <laughs> she was explaining how she found record, like, actual records of George Floyd saying he was, like, a drug addict, drunk, they arrested him on fentanyl, all this bullshit. Like, she was trying to... Sh- she was trying to give the cop justice for murdering a man, which is there was no justice. No justice. You can kill the man... If you, he's in handcuffs. Yeah, like, it's that's just bullshit. Doesn't matter what he did with whatever. So, Dave yeah. Chappelle was talking about yeah. that. She's stupid. Calling her a stinky pussy. Yeah, I would be calling her stinky stupid pussy. Yeah. yeah. And, like, she's a very... She's a very uneducated, well-spoken person. That's dangerous. Because yes. they're bubbling, like... I know one not-educated, spoke person in state is number one guy over there. Yeah. Yeah, he. I think she eats dinner with him every day. Yeah, I think so. Donald Trump. Yeah, Donald Trump fucking spaghetti. Yeah, the fucking orange. He's orange. He's Mr. Orange. (laughs) That's yeah, exactly. (laughs) But Candace Owens is like it's. We have a lemon orange fucking Jesus. What kind of country? She was so basically before you had uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, who was like the fucking crazy, well-spoken, uneducated person. Talking okay. to the masses. Yes. And mm-hmm. now this is the new Milo Yiannopoulos, which is now Candace Owens, which is everybody who thinking Earth is uh, flat, they should have, <laughs> they should be revoked the fucking microphone rights. You can't talk to microphone, period. If you think the Earth is flat. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna be punished by the by tasing and and uh, humping by well. Wow, that's a punishment. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Fuck. And if you're too stupid, you don't talk to microphone. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you think. You say, oh, that's a free country. But no. It's it's free country for smart people, not from dumb people. That's it. Yeah, but she, like, I don't know with her, but she, I don't think she, I don't know what goes through her head. Like, I actually look up news stories from big mm. news outlets from yeah. around the world. And I'm just, like, regurgitating, like, interesting stories I find around the world to people. Yeah. So it's, like, and then I we give our own, like, little twist to it. We're not being, like, assholes and trying to, like, let's bury this guy who was murdered for no reason even more to the public. Because it doesn't make sense to do that. That's what they try to do with Kobe. Like, I didn't... Listen, I, they try to do it with Kobe, yeah? Yeah, with I Your know. guy. Yeah. He started yapping about this allege- eligible the rape t- uh, the sue for the woman who tried. Yeah, but he didn't rape her. That's the old. That's shit. what I'm saying. But I he know. said this, it's and it was shit. fucking conk around him. Poor. You know, say I said to you yesterday. You know, say some sentence stuff who can make damage like this woman right now. She take care of this cop. Are you kidding me? You're gonna be. They're gonna burn her house. Yeah. Even she's black. Yeah. Fuck. And then and that's She's what, so stupid. That's, exactly. That's the main problem with the black movement yeah. that's happening because everything is that, fire. That community can't even agree with each other. Like they, the black people can't even deal with the black people. No, but fucking look at this black stupid. Yeah. She, 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 she yapping about the cop. Uh, do it right? No. Doesn't matter what. He no have a right to kill the man. Exactly. Special so in handcuffs. So that's what Dave Chappelle was kind of saying in yeah. the special. I highly recommend people, if you have not watched it. Netflix. Netflix. It's even on YouTube. You can watch it for free on YouTube. The whole fucking thing. Half an hour. It's called 846 Dave Chappelle. Yeah. It was, which watch was, it. You want to be educated related to a the little time bit? The watch George it. Floyd died. Yeah. Watch it. Because he explains... Everything. Everything. Yeah. Very well. Yeah, whoa, whoa. And then in Canada, we opened the first ever psychedelic enhanced psychotherapy center to help with depression. I should go there. It's the first clinic ever in Canada open for that. But remember, what one time doctor told me, you have to be very careful. Okay. 
Because my doctor, family doctor, told me how I get divorced, I get depressed, mm-hmm. and I say, oh, maybe they give me some kind of, you know, like medicine or something, you know, like a Xanax or something like okay. for depression. Yeah. And then my doctor came to me and said, Peter, did you not want to be cop? Mm-hmm. Because she knew, like before, I was married, I won't be cop, but I switch to be tool and die making because the cops was run over on the highway and your mom said which is uh, my ex-wife mm-hmm. said oh, I don't want you to die blah 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 can you switch to something else so I switched to this uh, fucking thing yeah yeah but then we divorced and then I was in depression and so she clicked and she said you always want to be like a military or a cop you want to be a cop I'm like maybe yeah and she said you can't have on the record, you have under depression fucking pills. You never will be cop. Mm-hmm. Never will be have, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, management position. Never ever in, in Canada. Mm-hmm. So I said, okay, forget it. Don't put nothing. So I deal with myself. But that's what I find out. So that's cleaning even, even now. You want to go to the cleaning? That's going to be fucking on the paper. So be careful. I think the I think like the public's point of view on that is completely changed. Uh, but I I I know, but yeah. but for, you, something is wrong with this guy who need help, and then you can't be fucking position. But, then, it, but no, it's good then that you can't, he's getting help. No, you know what I mean? No, because yes, the, it is. you can't help these people. They can only put the lid on this if they know how. Like I know how put the lid on some stuff. But okay. I'm the same guy who was before. Yeah. So. People never change, like you said. Yeah. People never change, but they can control. They learn to control the fucking shit, put lead, but they never change. So if this guy need help, uh-huh. one day this is gonna explode, and he can't have a gun in his hand because he's gonna shoot fucking everybody. Yeah. So that's what I said. That's it. That's interesting. Yeah. So that's what I said. People don't change, but they learn how to put lead on it. Yeah. But sometimes this pressure is so big, the lid falling off again and fucking shit happen. Mm-hmm. So that's, if you have on the record the guy was violent, he was involved with something, never give the guy gun if he became cop. No, you never hire him for cop. Yeah. Sorry, we, we, not, we don't need so many people say nicely to him. Mm-hmm. Go home. Maybe we call you. And that's it. Yeah. But because they, then he's gonna be so pissed, mm-hmm. he's gonna come back with his gun and mm-hmm. shoot all cops because they don't hire him. Mm. Ah, the lit boo. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You can have. That's what I say. Some people can be cops. Mm-hmm. And if they do the crime, some kind of offense where they get suspended for beat up another cop or beat up people. Like this cop right now who is witness, he can't come back to the fucking duty and have a gun again. Yeah. That's got shit happen, gonna happen again. Mm-hmm. So that's what I say it should be a review every six months, every fucking arrest, mm-hmm. what was involved with beating or something, and check these cops for valuation that they fucking can go in or they fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And make research, like a background check. Okay. Asking every cop, so he tell you about this cop, mm-hmm. n- not showing her face and everything, so he know, okay, this cop have always management problems, this, he have to go. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. So then they're going to fucking think twice before shooting somebody running. Mm-hmm. Fuck, if you're running, let him run. What the fuck are you going to go? Yeah. Fucking, you going to taste somebody? Fucking... Uh, Maybe he's gonna be alive. Fuck. Maybe he don't even know how to use this taser. Fuck it. Shit. Yeah. Dude. Maybe he'll shoot himself with it. Maybe he fucking yeah. He <laughs> up some you never know. Yeah. Maybe he went fishing with taser. But in Canada, we got the first psychedelic. Yeah. Enhanced but I, that, that, like I said, be careful when you're walking in and signing your name, because that's gonna be on your record, and then gonna hit you in the back. We are. you They help you. But they're gonna actually fucking fuck you over with this, put in a, if you want a different job. If you want to be like this kind of job. If you want to be like your normal job, yeah, sure, go. Mm-hmm. You know, where there's no important what kind of fucking psycho you are. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's crazy. Like, so this is the first center ever. Yeah, Canada yeah. is, I think... What do you call this thing? It's called the Psychedelic Enhanced Psychotherapy Center. Yeah, this should be called different. From crazy people, welcome fucking No, ever. so basically... 
if you don't want to take Xanax, you don't want to take these addictive yeah. opioids, yes, yes. you go there, they give you micro doses of ketamine mixed with like either mushrooms or LSD or something. Like a natural shit. Yeah, yeah. like real natural okay. shit. They give you these drugs in this building. You have a like a therapy session. You explain what you're feeling, what you're seeing. It's a 45 minute session. And it opens your mind to like other things. So it's been tested in Canada for years. They've been doing this in Canada for years that this does help people with depression and anxiety okay, and other okay. mental health conditions. But then, like I said, to get rid of the yeah their depression, depression yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And uh, now that now they have an actual office where people could come and do it now. Finally, in Canada, do it, it be, what? Do the therapy, the oh, psychotherapy. Oh, so it's like so walking like, clinic or yeah, something. Yeah, so like, if you want to know more about it, there's an episode on Netflix about it on the Goop Lab with Gwyneth Paltrow. They did it on there, where oh. they went to Canada and they talked to the people who run the organization in Canada with psychedelic therapy. Uh, if you want to get more educated on the topic... You could definitely go to Netflix, the Goop Lab. There's an episode there where they show psycho psychotherapy with psychedelics on there. Yeah. But the first location is open in Toronto and downtown. Oh, and each close. each session costs two hundred to four hundred dollars for a forty five minute session. There Can is... I go tell you you crazy for two hundred dollars? So basically they have... <laughs> they don't tell you you're crazy. What are you talking? No, about? but you going over there and say listen. You are crazy, but we can help you. So that's what you have Listen, to do. Listen, it's just people trying to. I just joking. Help. I yeah, know, yeah. But, but okay. They're just trying to find help. And yeah, yeah, but that's they ridiculous. They should be covered by all you. But they don't want it. It possibly could be because that's it possibly expensive. Could be. How depressed guy who can work in that can afford two hundred dollars? Yeah, but say you go once a month. You go once a month. Once a month? Get... You know how many food you can eat for $200? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, to you, because you don't know how to save money, fucking $200 is a lot of money for you. But, like, for me, I could go right now and fucking do it if I want to. It's not going to fuck me in the ass. But I know I'm making myself better as a human being. You're so Internally, good being. put me down. Going On there. the national yeah. radio. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, I know. But they also have an office in New York and L.A. There's three offices across the oh, By the America. way, I have more than $200 in the bank. Three sure. Times. <laughs> and then finally, they're recalling a diabetes drug because it may link people to get cancer. What happened? There's a diabetes drug that they give to a lot of people. So, like, there's a shit ton of people with diabetes in Canada because yeah, yeah, they yeah. decided to go to Tim Hortons and buy four by four extra large coffees, which makes no fucking sense to do. Okay, so what happened? So there, there's a diabetes company that makes a diabetes drug called Apometformin ER. Apometformin ER, yeah. So this drug has been recalled because uh, hundreds of thousands of people who have get di to ER. diabetes <laughs> get like take this drug. Yeah, yeah, they get it. And it's causing, like, it's getting controlling the diabetes, but it's giving them cancer now. Ooh. So these diabetes drugs that are supposed to help you be healthy, they help you with diabetes, is now but killing you with side cancer. effects that give you some kind of cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, getting a big problem. Oh shit, that's with problem. this. And they said the main cause is this stuff called nitrosamine. Which increases levels of cancer in your body. Oh my goodness. Which is, this stuff is also found in processed food and food and diabetes drugs. And they're starting to figure out that this stuff... Well, that's why they burned the Wendy's. Because and, it was processed food. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then they figured out that this thing called nitrosamine is causing people to get cancer. Oh, shit. And it's causing more and more cancer patients holy shit which i don't know if google could explain what nitrosamine is oh fuck hey google what is nitrosamine according to wikipedia nitrosamines are organic compounds of the chemical structure rnn equals o where r is usually an alkyl group 
Yes. Okay. So that's what it is. That's that's yeah. what that's what causes cancer. Yeah, that's R R N N N O. So basically, this ingredient is in diabetes <laughs> medicine. Yeah. And it was Who's ge- working very well on diabetes uh, help you, but beside this, freaking say, oh, oh, you're not free. I'm gonna give you cancer, and that's it. Yeah. So you know, sometimes medicine fucks up, and uh, yeah. this is a good. This is a r- interesting. One thing. shit you free, second shit coming. Yeah, and the drug the drug that had this was called fucking. Apo metformin ER. Yeah, you you you, you, uh, you who... eat yeah, like apple, you then apple. you feel like meth, and then you go to ER. But like... uh, I don't know if Google could explain <laughs> okay, that. Let's say, hey Google, what is apo metformin ER? According to Familifrix, apo metformin or 1000 milligrams 24 hours tablet. This medication is typically used to control blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. It may also have other uses. So that's the drug that's, uh, they had to recall, okay? Because it was giving people cancer. Yeah, it was, so something is wrong. Yeah. And yeah, and that's the show. That's the show, 150. 150. And then we keep going. For another 150. Exactly. We want to hit 300. Sparta! Oh, yeah. (laughs) Okay. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.